Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video I am going to review another budget laptop from Lenovo, the G5030 Notebook. This model has been replaced with the newer IdeaPad 110 series, but after reviewing the IdeaPad 110 in my earlier video, I am quite disappointed with that model in many important aspects. After testing this model for more than a week, I discovered it is much better than the IdeaPad 110 model. And please note, it may be hard for you to find the G5030 model as many stores don't have ready stocks. This model is focused mainly for home and office users who have usage mostly restricted to web browsing, emails, document editing and watching movies. Let's find out whether this laptop can satisfy such users. The Lenovo G5030 is available only in one variant with the Pentium CPU and here is the complete specification of this notebook. The entire laptop chassis is made of using solid plastic. The top lid is done with smooth matte finish and bottom portion has a rough textured coating. The screen frame and the edges are glossy in look and laptop is completely black in color. The chrome coated Lenovo logo on the top lid adds some visual appeal to the overall laptop aesthetics. The smooth matte surface on the top lid is extremely prone to scratches and fingerprints, so it needs to be protected with utmost care from any shop objects when moving or carrying the laptop. I didn't find any unwanted panel gaps or creaking noises across the body and the laptop feels solid to touch and the overall build quality is quite good at this price point. The top lid cover is reasonably rigid and doesn't bend inside much under mild pressure. Despite the matte coating, the laptop's interior surface easily attracts fingerprints, especially around the trackpad area. So regular cleaning is required for this model to remain clear of any smudges. The two display hinges are not that sturdy and the screen bounces while tilting. Has four rubber feet at all corners of the base portion, with the rear ones being raised little higher to ease keyboard typing comfort. The laptop weighs about 2.5 kilos, which is standard for a 15.6 inch notebook, but it appears quite bulky while viewing from the side angles. Lenovo has provided all the necessary I.O. ports with the G5030 laptop and you are well served with the right amount of USB ports and sufficient space between them. On the left side, a rectangular shaped power jack which is mostly seen in ThinkPad series and it feels quite sturdy when connected than the regular round type connector. Recovery button in case if the laptop fails to boot or if you wish to step into the BIOS screen. followed by a exhaust vent. No, actually it is not. The grill is completely closed by plastic as the laptop doesn't feature any active cooling system. VGA output which most laptops lacks nowadays. A recessed Ethernet jack. A full size HDMI video output. One USB 2.0 port and one USB 3.0 port. The space between these USB slots is adequate and you can connect two USB devices at the same time without blocking one another. And this was not the case with IdeaPad 110 model and you can see the adjacent port is completely blocked due to the larger dimension of the USB device. On the front, LED light indicators for power on and charging status. On the right side, a Kensington lock slot, a DVD burner and another USB 2.0 interface, a card reader slot, 3.5mm audio jack, above the screen a low resolution webcam and microphone. The webcam quality is strictly average and the output is heavily pixelated even in bright light conditions. Typing experience on this laptop keyboard is just average and occasionally some of the keys are not registered while typing aggressively. The keyboard layout is decent and the keys are average in size with sufficient space between each other. The most often used keys, tab, shift, control, enter and backspace buttons are adequate in size. Thankfully, Lenovo provides numlock and caps lock LED indicators for this laptop model. 
has got dedicated page up, page down, home and end keys. The directional keys are not separated from the alphabetic and numeric section, which is annoying sometimes and misleads me eating the adjacent shift or end key instead of a arrow. The keyboard area doesn't flex much even when typing aggressively, which is a good sign of overall build quality. The key surface is smooth and keys have sufficient amount of travel point, also very quiet in action. Overall, the keyboard experience is ok for regular users but not suitable for intensive document editing. Touchpad surface is medium sized and supports multi gesture functions. Has got separate left and right click buttons but has a long travel to register the clicks but operation is absolutely silent. We can customize gesture functions through this synaptic tool. The trackpad experience is only mediocre and lacks the precision while gliding through fingers. Lenovo has employed two speakers placed at the bottom portion and the sound output is very loud at full volume and well enough to fill a small size room. You can customize the audio output using this Dolby interface. Like with most entry level notebooks, the Lenovo G5030 uses a glossy TN display panel and has a resolution of 1366 by 768. The maximum brightness level is good but the reflective screen surface leaves us struggling to read under harsh lighting conditions, especially when screen facing a bright window. Color temperature is on cooler side, as a result there is a high bluish tint on the display. Due to the TN panel technology, color reproduction will be poor on this laptop and not suitable for any color critical tasks such as editing photos or videos. As you can see, the images look mostly washed out compared to the IPS screen on the left side. And make sure you watch this part in an IPS or BA grade display to spot the difference. The viewing angle stability is affected after tilting the screen to extreme position or viewing from the side angles. It provides a negative shade which is the major drawback of using a TN panel. This Lenovo screen does not use PWM method across all brightness levels and as a result there will be no flickering issue on the screen. You can notice screen flickering on the reference laptop that uses pulse width modulation method to control brightness. So people can enjoy less eye strain with the Lenovo G5030 model due to this feature. This is the maximum tilt angle of the display which is somewhat less compared to other laptop models. Despite having a low capacity 2200mAh battery, the Lenovo G5030 surprised me on battery runtime performance. It lasted close to 4 and half hours when used for web browsing or doing less demanding tasks. The battery runtime reduced to 3 hours when watching 1080p videos full time. This model runs on Intel Pentium Quad Quad N3540 processor that operates at a base frequency of 2.1 GHz and reaches up to 2.6 GHz for all threads when there is a demand of more CPU power. Performance is adequate and more satisfying until you restrict yourself to web browsing with 5 to 7 tabs open, watching YouTube videos at 1080p or editing documents. Doing CPU intensive tasks like image rendering, video encoding on this laptop will leave you disappointed as it is going to be painfully slow executing those tasks on this laptop. Full HD videos play smoothly but it stutters a lot when running 4K videos or even 1080p video recorded at 60fps. The G5030 laptop is fine for surfing web or working with few apps open but it doesn't have enough power for serious multitasking. This laptop is not intended for playing games as its integrated Intel graphics is very weak to handle games like GTA 5. It even stuttered occasionally while playing Minecraft. And here are the scores achieved from popular benchmark softwares.
even with the fanless design the laptop does not get excessively warm at the bottom portion and it remained well controlled under 65 degrees at full load it doesn't hurt my lap even after continuous web browsing and the heat dissipation is absolutely minimal on this laptop on the bottom side there are two grills for air intake and lenovo provides a large maintenance hatch for users who wish to upgrade storage and memory you can notice there is no fan used in this model for cooling the internals unfortunately this laptop model has only one ram slot which is occupied by the pre installed 4 gigabyte ram but still you can upgrade the memory to single 8 gigabyte module by swapping the 4 gigabyte the latest idea pad 110 model is poor in this aspect as the ram is soldered on the motherboard and users are stuck with the onboard 4 gigabyte ram Despite having fewer drawbacks, the Lenovo G5030 is much better than the newly launched IdeaPad 110 series in most aspects. And I also suggest people to consider checking the availability of this model before buying the IdeaPad 110 series. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up if you find this video useful and also leave your thoughts queries in the comment section.